Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Comey comes clean, drops bomb on Lynch and Obama, says exactly what they pressured him to do. The controversy surrounding former director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation James Comey and President Obama and former Attorney General Loretta Lynch seems to never de down. Right when it starts to quiet it comes right back again. Mainly because there is always some type of new development that comes about because of the investigation. Now former director Comey dropped another bombshell that people are not going to like. The Daily Wire reported. During his much-anticipated testimony before the Senate Intelligence Committee on Thursday, former FBI Director James Comey made a claim that highlights the hypocrisy of the Democrats' accusations against President Trump. Barack Obama's Attorney General Loretta Lynch, said Comey, attempted to pressure him to portray the investigation into Hillary Clinton as simply a matter rather than a true investigation, as it of course was. At one point, the Attorney General, Lynch, told me not to call it an investigation but instead to call it a matter which confused and concerned me, the former FBI director told the committee Thursday. But that was one of the bricks in the load that led me to conclude I have to step away from the Justice Department if we're to close this case credibly. Watch below. This is not the first time Comey has mentioned that Lynch tried to get him to downplay the Clinton investigation, but in the midst of the Democrat-slash-media frenzy over Trump's alleged pressuring of Comey to drop the Flynn matter. The former FBI director's statement made under oath exposes the egregious double standard in a glaring way. This comes on the heels of Comey saying he largely scrapped the Clinton investigation because of Lynch's private meeting with Bill Clinton, notes Eric Erickson. That sounds way more like obstruction of justice than Trump just asking Comey if he might wind down the Flynn investigation when Comey did not do so afterwards. In yet another example of the Democrats' hypocritical double standard, as former Bush White House Press Secretary Ari Fleischer notes, while the Democrats and their colleagues in the media cry obstruction over Trump's request for loyalty from Comey, they didn't seem to have any problem with Obama AG Eric Holder calling himself Obama's wingman. Lynch was not the only unexpected casualty of the day. Also caught in the line of fire was the establishment media for its increasing reliance on unnamed sources, whom Comey explained often simply do not fully understand the information they are illegally leaking. In particular, the New York Times came out of the hearing with its credibility diminished after Comey blew up its February 14 bombshell on the potential collusion of Trump's associates with Russian agents, a report he agreed was almost entirely wrong. Comey made it clear when he was giving his sworn testimony that he felt that many news stories and classified information that was released to news outlets were false. Furthermore, that accounts of the Russia investigation in regards to collusion were over-exaggerated and falsified in order to sell news stories. Confirmation that even Comey knew that there is misleading information out there in the media on both sides of the aisle. Most recently Comey came out and rejected and spoke against congressional and Senate Republicans for their comments on the investigation and concerns over the legitimacy of leaks and information from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. CNBC reported. Former FBI Director James Comey on Wednesday weighed in for the first time on reports of an informant investigating President Donald Trump's campaign, saying that lies and attacks on the law enforcement agency will do lasting damage to our country. In a pair of tweets, Comey defended the use of confidential human sources, the actual term, he said, as being essential to protecting the country. Comey then went on the offensive, suggesting that Republicans in positions of political leadership were attacking the FBI dishonestly. How will Republicans explain this to their grandchildren? He asked. Comey, who was fired by Trump in May 2017, did not mention the president by name in the Wednesday morning tweets. But Comey's statements came shortly after Trump, also on Twitter, decried Spygate as potentially being one of the biggest political scandals in history. The Wednesday morning diatribe was not the first time Trump spoke out about the alleged informant who reportedly interviewed multiple Trump campaign associates as part of the FBI's probe of Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election. In a Friday tweet, Trump claimed, without providing evidence, that at least one FBI representative had been implanted, for political purposes, in his campaign. A New York Times report published later that day said there was no available evidence to suggest that the informant had been implanted, or that the person's work was politically motivated. On Sunday, Trump took action against the alleged use of an informant, demanding that the Justice Department investigate whether his campaign had been infiltrated or surveilled for political purposes. At this juncture, it is abundantly clear that James Comey has zero credibility. When he lost his job he went to the paid speech circuit, took up television appearances, and wrote a book. If that does not scream attention-seeking I am not quite sure what does. 
Beyond anything else, his actions indicate that he has never done or wanted to do what is in the best interests of the American people. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.